Python 3.10 introduced pattern matching. The first thing you notice with pattern matching is that it looks like a switch. And indeed, you can use pattern matching in Python to create switches with cases for literals. But it can do more. The match statement in Python is capable of structural pattern matching. In this video, I'll show you three examples of pattern matching. Let's start with the simplest form. Literal pattern matching like a switch statement in a language like c -sharp. Let's take the example you see on the screen. How would we do this in Python before the match statement was introduced? I handle the status code by using an if statement. Now I do the same thing with pattern matching. The result is the same. Let's change the status code to 500. That works as expected. What happens in case of an unknown status code? Nothing is printed. Let's fix that. In the if statement, I add an else block. The pattern match got a wildcard case. The underscore wildcard will match on everything. I'll support another status code. Both the 500 and 502 give the same result. This is also possible in the pattern match. You have seen literal pattern matching. This is possible in most languages where it is known as a switch. But pattern matching in Python can also do structural matching. Let me give you an example of this. Now let's pass a tuple with just an X and Y value. This code will crash. I can fix this by matching the point with its structure. Python can also combine the structure with literals like this. Now you have seen that Python can pattern match on a structure like a tuple. Let me show you a last example where we match on class types.
You have now seen three examples of pattern matching in Python. You can freely combine the techniques from the three examples to serve your purposes. Structural pattern matching is a nice addition to the Python language and I am curious where you will use it in your code. Let me know in the comments. I hope this helped you.